You've all seen these before, these rulers. It's a rectangular object with a bunch of numbers written on top. Now in grade three, we're not going to worry about these little dashes. We're going to worry about the big ones that have the numbers hooked onto them. And what these numbers tell us, they help tell us how long something is. When you line it up properly, it'll tell you how many centimeters long it is. And these numbers, these big numbers, represent centimeters. So the question asks us, says how much longer is the white line? So we need to measure both of them to figure that out. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now when a lot of people first start using rulers, they actually line it up the wrong way. Look what they do. They take the ruler, they put it right there. Now look closely. You see the edge of the ruler lines up with the edge of the line. They think, oh yeah, I got it. I got this right now. I'm just going to go across and measure it. If you do that, you're going to get the wrong answer. And this is what you need to do. Don't line it up with the edge of the ruler. Line it up with the zero. So here's the zero. It's the first dash. Line that up to the edge of that line. And then go across and then down and you see it hits 10. So all we have to do now is just say it is, and maybe we can do it in white. We'll say 10 We'll put 10 cm, 10 centimeters. And then we'll repeat it with the green line. Line it up properly. We go across and it's about, a, it's hitting at around 4 centimeters. So we'll write 4 cm. Cm. So we must be done now, right, Mr. Matt? We've got to be done, right? No, no. We still got to answer the question, which is how much longer? And it's an ER word. And every ER word, if you remember, back from the subtraction unit, means takeaway. A lot of people get confused and they think, oh, longer, so it must, be, it must mean plus, right? Longer means adding more. No, no. It actually means subtract. So just do it that way. Remember, ER words are subtract. So all you can do is just go 10 takeaway 4. Everybody knows that's 6 centimeters. And that's your answer. And you're going to say that the white line, the white line is six centimeters longer. Longer than what? I I'm not going to write it in, but you would say longer than the green line. On to question two. How much shorter is the green line? Well, the, de the length's never changed. It's the same line. This is still 10. 10 centimeters. Yeah, let's fix that. Here, let's, let's scribble that. We'll write 10 centimeters. And the short line is still four centimeters. Let's double check it though, just to make sure. Can never be too certain. Yes, it is four centimeters. And then the question asks us, how much shorter is it? Look at that word. It's another ER word. It means takeaway. So you're still going to go 10 takeaway four and you get the same answer. It's six centimeters. So we say the green line is, and I'm not going to write it down, but you would say the green line is six centimeters shorter than the white line. How about this one here? A little more challenging. It asks us to find the sum of the two line lengths. So to start, we need to find the line lengths. And this one is still 10. This one is still 4. And if we do that, we're going to get 10 centimeters for this one. We're going to get 4 centimeters for this one. And because it's asking us to find the sum, we know what that means. It means add. And 10 plus 4 is 14. So the sum of the two lines is going to be 14 centimeters. And I would write that down. I would go the sum. I would say the sum of the two lines is 14 centimeters long. <laughs> Don't ever do this on my test. Get the wrong answer if you do that. Make sure you write out all the words. Next question. What is the product of the two line lengths? Okay, baby. Whoa, line product. What is this? Just means times. It means you got to multiply them. So let's find out first how long they are. So the top line is 5 centimeters. The bottom line is 3 centimeters. So let's write that down. We got 5 centimeters for this one. You know what? I'm going to color code them. Let's, let's match them up with those. So this is white. Let's make it 5. And then the bottom one, the green one, is going to be 3 centimeters. And product means times. So 5 times 3. Go back to the multiplication units if you don't remember. But five groups of three is going to be 15. Five times three, 15. That's your answer. I think you're more than ready to do these. Let's go for it. Here's question one. Go ahead and do this. I'm going to give you a clue, though, before you start. That's the clue. Go ahead. All right, let's do this. So I've done the measuring for you. You don't have to use this ruler, although if you used your own ruler... It's going to be about the same numbers. I've calibrated this to 
be as close to real life as possible. Now, what do we have here? It asks us how much taller is the second sheep. And because taller is an ER word, you know what that means. I actually made the mark for you. It means takeaway. So you're going to go five takeaway three. Really, Mr. Is that that easy? Yeah, that's how easy it is. Five takeaway three is going to be two centimeters. So you're going to ignore this one. No! 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 Because you're not going to add them. You're not going to go three plus five. That would be the sum. That's not sum. That's taller. This is an ER word. It means takeaway. It's not going to be 15. You're not going to time No! Them. No! No! Here's another one for you to try. I won't tell you where the clue is in this, but I do want you to underline the word that asks you if you should multiply or add or subtract or whatever you got to do. There's a clue in there. Try to find it and underline it. Go ahead. All right, here's what you should have done. Longer. That's the clue. It's takeaway. See, I'm making a takeaway sign under the part, the ER part. So we got a takeaway. Okay, what do we have to take away? Well, it tells us straight up. It says the unstretched, so this one, it's not stretched, elastic band measures 18 centimeters long. So I'm going to write that down. Always write stuff down and show your work. After it is stretched, so I'm assuming it's this one, it measures 73 centimeters. So I'm writing things down. Always write them down, guys. Just don't do it in your head. Do it step by step. How much longer did it get? So we're worried about longer. That means takeaway. So we're just going to go 73, takeaway 18. Now three takeaway eight, that's five, right? No, it's not five. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that, guys. You should know this by now that you cannot do three takeaway eight. At this time of the year, you know three takeaway eight doesn't exist. So you're going to have to borrow. We're going to make that a 6. That becomes 13. And then 13 take away 8 is 5. 6 take away 1 is 5. We get 55 what? Centimeters. Because look, centimeters. Here we go, guys. Let's do another one. You read it on your own and then underline the keyword in this to help you figure out what you need to do. Here's what you should have done. You should have underlined to start the word sum. Because we know sum means add. So we have to plus something together. We got to add something. Make a big plus sign here. What do we have to add? Well, it asks us which set of lines. So we have two sets. We have set A and we have set B. Which sets have a sum of 12? So we'll, we'll take our ruler. We'll put it here. And we'll measure this line. It looks like it starts at 0, goes all the way to 9. So the top line is 9. And the bottom line is, what is it? Look close. Looks like it's about three centimeters. So we'll write nine and three. We'll write nine cm. And we'll write three cm. And we know the sum of nine and three is what? What's the sum? We've got to add them. You get 12. 12 centimeters, which is what the question states. We found our answer. But just to make sure, let's double check with the second one. We'll make sure it doesn't also work. Maybe they both work. That looks to be like it's about seven. And the bottom one looks to be about two. So we'll write 7 and 2. We're going to write 7, but we're going to do it in yellow. We're going to go 7, and we're going to write 2. And the sum of 7 and 2, what is it? It's 9 centimeters, which is not what we're looking for. So we got our answer. Could it be this one? No! 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 Anyways, he's so angry. Here's the last question. Go ahead and try it on your own. Underline the keyword. Here's what you should have underlined. Which set of lines have a difference? That's the keyword. And difference means takeaway. That's another one of our takeaway words. We want a difference of five centimeters in length. So again, we'll take our ruler. We'll write, we'll put it here. We'll say, okay, that's, uh, here, let's, let's stretch it out a little more. I think it needed to be about right there. Yeah, so we'll put it here. We'll go, okay, it's nine centimeters, and this one is three. So we'll write nine and three down. Here's nine centimeters, here's three. And the difference, so we've got a takeaway. Nine takeaway three equals six centimeters. So that's the difference. That's not what it's saying. We want a difference of five. So we'll repeat it again with the bottom one. We'll go here. That was seven, this is two. We know the difference of 7 and 2, but we'll write it down anyways. 
we'll go seven centimeters. We'll write two centimeters. And the difference when we take them away is going to be five. Five centimeters. We got it. Five and five. So could it be this one? Could it be... No! No!